Hello and greetings to all of you watching this video. My name is Avikant and you are watching Only Aviation Avikant. Yep. And I am back with another video on this particular channel as always. No, no. Okay. So, today in this video, what are we discussing? We are discussing about a nice topic. Quite interesting also. What is flex temperature? F-L-E-X temperature. Okay. So, yeah. Without any further ado, let's get not started. First, listen to this small notice that today is the last video of the whole month and um, yeah because my school started one week ago yeah one week ago and uh, so uh, my next video will be coming on august 4th a very special day that time august 4th exciting day for me okay so yeah let's continue with today's video first so let's get started always refer to the takeoff performance setup uh, for many jet aircrafts so like Airbus except Boeing you know Boeing is very old so <laughs> okay so for this example we'll be taking Airbus A320 and Airbus A320 with CFM turbofan engines okay so many passengers have this impression that pilots always apply full thrust that is toga uh, during every takeoff and cruise also but that's not the case okay that's not at all the case pilots don't uh, apply full power that is toga uh, during takeoffs and even cruise you sit in an airplane uh, only airbus okay commonly operated in india so what happens is during the takeoff that roar is there okay and after the takeoff the roar decreases it de the power derates why it happens okay so first before that we'll do some calculations and uh, it, it happens because of the flex temperature now we'll do the calculations i'll take you to my computer screen mm, just a minute. yeah guys so these are the calculations which i was talking about so you can see first we have the takeoff weight then you will check the local atis which is called uh, atis okay and then let's move to the second picture okay wait 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 and here we move to the second picture okay so here you can see the v1 vr and v2 is given and you have the flex temperature of 58 degrees here you can see you have the flex temperature of 58 degree then you have the v1 speed vr is a rotation speed then you have the toga rotation speed which is uh, not here in the video okay so then if you see this you can see now the uh, flex temperature is given 58 degrees so you will type in 58 degrees in your performance page and now the fedec called full authority digital engine control as will assume that the outside air temperature is 58 degrees okay the outside air temperature is 58 degrees and therefore the fedec reduces the power purposely okay then the fedec will reduce the power purposely Wait, why am I showing the computer screen? Let's move to... Was the, that was a small calculation, okay? Right. Now, uh, if pilots don't apply full thrust, then what do they? So, uh, if you see this uh, video on your screen, pilots are applying thrust to a point called flex detent. Okay. So, during flex detent, the uh, uh, airplane will give you a good power of 85%. Okay. That's not at Boeing, okay. The flex, if you put it to flex detent, the aircraft will give you 85% power. Okay. Now, you know that there, that there is some power left. So, what happens? So, what happens is, uh, after the airplane gets, airplane takes off and the pilots reach at the point called the uh, thrust reduction altitude where the flex temperature comes in the pilots reduce the power not much they only put it to 
this place uh, called the climb power which is again uh, written on the thrust lever area so they put it to the climb power so that's why you hear that you feel that the sound is decreasing so when you put it to climb power the aircraft will give you uh, 83% of power so 85 to 83% of uh, aircraft thrust now to understand in the one in one sentence the lower the flex temperature that means the fake outside air for the FedEx, the higher the thrust will be applied. The higher the flex temperature, higher the flex temperature, so low thrust will be applied, so engines will be derated more and that will result in longer takeoff rolls. Okay. Now, okay, done. So now, how will you feel or he hear that which flex temperature was there? was applied so the best example here is lanzarote airport lanzarote airport which is an airport in spain in spain one of my favorite countries and it's a it's quite difficult airport to approach with a very short runway so during the takeoff the planes aircraft's thrust is ma maximum maximum like 99 percent close to toga okay it is very close to Torah and the aircraft takes off with the maximum uh, with its maximum speed so you can feel it uh, sitting in a cabin you can actually feel it okay now uh, suppose uh, if you are taking off from Mumbai the thrust will be mostly 85 percent only but uh, take off but airports like Lanzarote airport the plane is again again I'm saying it is maximum to its toga position. So now your so now the question arises why do not set why do say not set toga for every uh, takeoff and uh, then go through all that hassles? The answer is that will reduce the engine life if you put toga for every takeoff and also controllability of aircraft okay even the controllability of aircraft because aircrafts are very fast and if you put it to 100 percent 100 percent power it becomes a little difficult to control the aircraft for uh, aircrafts like uh, bombardier q400 which is already quite difficult to control <laughs> already difficult to control if you put 100 percent toga right there it will be more difficult so controllability is again an option okay now there are some cases where setting flex temperature is prohibited. For example, uh, suppose you take uh, the runway slushy, watery, uh, it has stagnant water on it. So the flex temperature is prohibited to use on that kind of runways. Flex temperature is prohibited. Then how do we take off? Always you have to set toga power because you know the runway is contaminated and slushy okay. now to sum it up the uh, flex temperature is the sweet balance between the stop margin on the runway and the engine life and fuel economy okay now airbus it is done that what is flex temperature what does flex temperature do it reduces the thrust okay whenever it is when you reach the thrust reduction altitude and uh, in some cases it is prohibited because of contaminated runway then you have to set toga in, the, in case of these runways now what about in boeing because boeing is again a very old company i don't think boeing still uses these flex temperature parts okay so <laughs> boeing it is different actually boeing it is full opposite full opposite of airbus is boeing now the takeoff thrust will be 85 percent and the thrust reduction and when the plane reaches the thrust reduction altitude the thrust will be increased by 10 percent yeah that's the case so it's usually done with the triple sevens and yeah mostly with the triple sevens and all boeing aircraft so the uh, that's why if you sit in any boeing aircraft the takeoff roll is always long takeoff roll is always long in any boeing aircraft you sit on so <laughs> the thrust power is set at 75 percent and the when the plane reaches the uh, thrust reduction altitude it is 
85 percent so you can feel that 10 percent power change so this is how it works on a boeing aircraft i know it's quite old quite old technology but what to do i again i love boeing boeing no questions with boeing boeing is boeing airbus Airbus. each and every company has its own pros and cons and this is how we have completed with today's video i hope you like this video and uh, yeah i hope you like this video you know what to do follow my checklist yeah what's my checklist my checklist is to subscribe my channel press the bell icon join my group in my website link description below and also share this video and my next video will be coming on august 4th because that's a very special day you will get to know get to know okay you will get to know and uh, if you have any questions you can tell ask me in the comment section uh well i will not be able to answer that because my exams are starting and studying okay so yeah that's all for this video hope you liked it Milling agree video mein. Tab tak ke liye. bye bye tata see you namaskar